I don't know what some of you are thinking. No, I didn't steal this idea from Matthew Santoro. Hi guys, my name is Joshua Pomeningo and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be sharing you 25 strange phobias that I found while I was browsing the web. Now I found this website called phobialist.com. I'm going to put that link in the description below. And in that website, there is a big list of possibly all phobias ever and also they're all in alphabetical order so what I did is I picked one phobia for each letter that I thought was strange except for the letter Y because I somehow I cannot find a phobia that starts with letter Y and I'll show it to you guys so here it is the first one is automatonophobia or the fear of human-like figures now I kinda understand why people have this fear because sometimes mannequins or human-like statues can be pretty terrifying like there was one time that I went to a store and the mannequins look super old which made it look very creepy and also Caleb was there too so <laughs> I don't know what to say all I know that it was creepy but I don't have this fear the next one is barophobia or the fear of gravity now I'm kinda confused why people have this fear because gravity is a natural phenomenon it's everywhere it's the same thing that we experience here on earth like this that, that, that's a surgical glove I just dropped to no need to explain. The next one is sabophobia or the fear of food. Now I feel bad for the people who have these because if they starve, what do they do? They, ju they, they just drink water? That's it? Or they just inject stuff that satisfies the metabolism of the body? I don't know what I'm saying. The next one is the mentophobia or the fear of insanity. Now I'm kind of confused about this because if you are afraid of insanity, then you're gonna go insane by that fear. So, domino effect? I don't know. The next one is epistemophobia or the fear of knowledge. Now this is not me because you know I'm I'm gonna say I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm gonna say pretty because I'm not the smartest in the world. But when I research what this fear is. Basically, people who suffer from this fear will try their best to avoid jumping in or joining in a conversation. So, um, I guess they're socially awkward or they just don't want to go to school. I don't know. The next one is felinophobia or the fear of cats. Now, I, I have been scratched by a cat or kitten before. Uh, I've mentioned it in a comment. Here it is. But it doesn't make me scared of cats. I just don't like them. I don't like dogs too. So I fear dog lover. The next one is geniophobia or the fear of chins. Well, good to know you don't have this fear because I have a chin. All of us have chins. I hope. The next one is hippopotamonstro sesquipedaliophobia or the fear of long words. <sighs> the irony. I love it. The next one is iatrophobia or the fear of doctors. Now I'm guessing the people who have this fear won't go to the doctor no matter how big a disease they have I'm not sure I'm just guessing just just based on the on the, on the word itself and the you know what I mean next one is Japanophobia or the fear of Japanese now for the people who have this fear you're missing out because sushi is good it's delicious I even ate some on my birthday I got full very quickly the next phobia is cathosophobia or the fear of sitting down if I don't have this fear I'm just gonna be like this the whole time. But I don't. Now I gotta feel bad for the people who have this fear because if they're afraid of sitting down, then they're just gonna stand up. But aren't they gonna feel tired? So they aren't gonna sit. Are they gonna lie down? I don't know. The next one is logophobia or the fear of words. I mean, there's a list right here that I made myself. So if I have fear of words. I, I, I wouldn't have made this list by myself. The next one is metallophobia or the fear of metal. And I'm kind of concerned for the people who have this fear because metal is almost everywhere. Like there's metal in your watch, in your silverware. Almost everywhere, I guess. The next one is numerophobia or the fear of numbers. For those who have this fear, um, I think they're not that good at math. I don't know. Or maybe they do, but they use variables instead. I don't know. The next one is Armadophobia or the fear of eyes. Glad I don't have that fear. The next one is Panophobia or the fear of everything. Yeah, if you're scared of everything, you wouldn't be alive. That's just my opinion. 
The next one is another number fear. It's quintophobia, or the fear of the number five. Now, I don't know why people have this fear. I mean, the number five is cool. I guess. The next one is trepophobia, or the fear of defecation. For some reason, I'm picturing someone in my head, somebody defecating when they have this fear. And, and since they have that fear, they're just gonna defecate forever. Diarrhea. The next one is symmetrophobia, or the fear of symmetry. And if you have this fear, everything you see is gonna be lopsided. Like this square, for instance. The next one is telcophobia, or the fear of pregnancy. I don't know why I did that motion. <laughs> well, I guess the people who have this fear don't want to spread their offspring. The next one is quite interesting. It's urophobia, the fear of urine. Oh! Now, if you have a fear of urine, how do you get rid of the waste besides from sweating and breathing and spitting and stuff? Ow. Concerned. The next one is vaccinophobia, or the fear of vaccination. And I can kind of relate to this phobia, because I've been bitten by a dog twice, and scratched by a kitten once, and I always get vaccination, so, um, it's painful. So, I guess people have that fear, because of that. The next one is wicophobia, or the fear of witches. I have no comment on that. The next one is xanthophobia, or the fear of yellow. Now, the people who have this phobia fear the color yellow, the word yellow, and everything yellow. So if you don't have this fear, you wouldn't click away if you see this. Now, just like I mentioned earlier, there's somehow no phobia that starts with letter Y, so we're just gonna skip that. And the last one is zoophobia, or the fear of animals. The problem, though, is that um, there are animals practically everywhere. There are ants everywhere, there are termites everywhere, they're all animals. So, how are you gonna deal with that? So yeah, that's all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and once again, if you want to explore more phobias by yourself, be sure to click the link in the description below. It says phobialist.com. Com, and apparently, uh, the person who made this website um, made this list on 1995. And if you like this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss an endless videos I'm going to upload, be sure to subscribe on this channel. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. And goodbye. Ow, on my back. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that.